We have a big it's puppy time, puppy time. We have a big announcement. If you've been following along to our blogs, you know Brindley loves dogs one and two. She's been begging for a puppy. Yes. And so we finally, or I finally came. It is coming. Yes. We're getting a puppy and it's official. So the puppy, I'm gonna put a quick clip of him on the screen. I wanna keep it kind of like a surprise, so it's gonna be real fast. Ready? Three, two. <laughs> I know you can totally like pause and look at him, but he is a oh, golden yeah. doodle. He is an F1 medium. Medium, yeah. Medium golden doodle. He is going to be the cutest little shaggy boy ever. We're so excited. And his name is Ziggy. So there's Ziggy. all the details. We are literally like off the wall excited. We've been watching dog training videos every night for hours. We bought so much stuff. We're constantly on Amazon. Like our search history is all like <laughs> puppy accessories and puppy products and everything. And we're just so excited. We're getting we're, him in like nine days now. Yes, nine days we're going to pick him up. He is all the way across the country. So we're yeah. gonna be flying there to pick him up. And then we actually have a big itinerary. I know the first week you get your dog is supposed Don't to be judge like us on this. at home, <laughs> taking care of him at home, getting used to his new home. Home, but yeah. it's the holiday season so we are doing it a little bit differently than most people do when they first get a puppy we're gonna be picking him up and then going to my parents house and we're gonna be staying with my parents for a week then we're gonna go to Lucas's parents for Christmas for a week which his sister is getting a puppy of the same litter so they're gonna be brother and sister she is the sister we are the brothers so it'll be fun for them to like reconnect for one week there and then we'll be heading back to our house in LA so that's the plan I also do want to do a little quick disclaimer disclaimer slash just a statement on it because if you like people that have guessed what kind of dog we're Getting. I have gotten some DMs about it and I just want to say um, I totally believe in adopting I've actually had rescue pets in the past we definitely looked into shelters here and everything and I am so for that in our circumstances we needed a hypoallergenic dog and nowhere we were looking had um, a golden doodle or they one that's gonna shed yeah Lucas cannot stop sneezing I don't know and what it is. Um, we just had very specific needs we wanted a dog obviously that's hypoallergenic that won't make Lucas sneeze and go crazy with allergies um, one that is very easy to train and can travel a lot because we travel all the time and we don't want a dog that's you know scared or timid with traveling we want to be able to have him come with us wherever yeah. we go and also down the road in a few years for family we just wanted a dog that will be good with little babies a long time from now but yeah what are you trying to say <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of stuff that went into it and I just want to say we do acknowledge and totally agree with if you have the ability to adopt and that is what's working for you. I think that is so smart. And hopefully in the future, we hope to have like two or three dogs and hopefully in the future, we will have a dog that we can adopt as well. But it's a really exciting time for us right now. And I just want to say that to touch on anybody who is offended if you are, and you don't want to watch anything about our puppy, you can definitely unsubscribe. But those of you that are excited with us, thank you. We're so, so, so pumped. And we want this to be a very positive thing. I just wanted to touch on that in the very beginning. All right. Cool. So today, you guys, we're gonna get into everything we've got in the little puppy. His room has like come together in our room right now. We're planning on having yeah. his kennel next to our bed and then his like actual bed and play area in the corner of our room. So we'll show you the setup and then we'll get into everything we got. Hey, this is his corner. This is Ziggy's corner. Excuse me. So Brindley's far. It's a little, smoothie. oh yes. It's a little bit unkempt right now, but that's okay. This is his bed. We got his bed at PetSmart, and we got these cute little toys off Amazon. We got this at PetSmart as well. This is his leash and collar. We're probably gonna use a harness right when we first get him, but we wanted to have a little collar just anyways, and this leash was just so adorable. All of that is from PetSmart as well. The toys, some of the toys are from TJ Maxx. This one's from TJ Maxx. Then we got a little puppy blanket for when we first pick him up. Um, we're getting it used to like our scent and everything so he just feels comforted and knows us and then this is his play bin we got this from TJ Maxx and it is filled with so many toys so I think we sit down and just show the toys real this quick is, this was all picked out by Brindley of course and it was all aesthetically picked out <laughs> like she he was not... he was trying to like pick out all these random toys and I was like no they literally I mean, have to match they have to be aesthetic like this is how they, they yeah. all have to match together yeah Okay, I'm gonna set this up and we'll go through the toys first. Okay, so for toys, you guys saw these ones first. Brindley's sitting in his bed. He's not gonna like that. I'm getting him used to my smell. But I'll put the link um, to all of like the Amazon purchases on the description of this video. So if you wanna get any of these exact toys, you can find them on there. The rest is from like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, um, Marshalls. Target. TJ Maxx is clutch for yeah. any like just random dog Target stuff. and TJ Maxx are fire. Okay, so those two, I love them and they're matching. Mr. They're Lala really and Mr. Lucy. Matching. She picked, ooh. And I thought he just needed like a long, big, durable toy. This is probably one he'll grow into. 
because he's gonna be a tiny puppy when we first get him, but yeah. He got a little monkey, PJ Maxx. This was only $4. Great prices. I don't know, Lucas bought this. This is so random. He just wanted him to have like a teeny tiny bear, I guess. No, it's for on the plane when we're traveling. He can't, I mean, this thing's not fitting in his little. Yeah, so. It's a little toy for him to mess around. We just got our traditional Kong. So, Brindley said yeah. this is the best toy ever. Let me toy tell ever. you about these guys. What you do is you put a little bit of peanut butter or almond butter on the inside, there's a hole, and you can freeze it. And so, when puppies or even dogs chew on it, it just feels good on their gums and on their teeth. And it will keep them entertained for hours because they're constantly trying to get the peanut butter out of that little hole. Best toy for last right now. He'll end up having so many more, but. Sushi! You know we had to. Yes. This is from Amazon? Yeah. This so whenever, is a squeaky sushi. Whatever. Whenever we have sushi date nights, he can chew on this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next, I think, I'm gonna do those little random treats. Oh, we got these bad boys. Okay, so we have antler chews. They say real bones are better than fake bones, like the nylon stuff. So we have antler chews. Uh, these are from TJ Maxx, just training um, bites. These are salmon flavor. Kind of makes me want to try one, but no. So they're really healthy. No corn, no soy, wheat, all that kind of stuff. Just straight salmon. You always want to look at the actual ingredients when getting um, dog treats because it's important once you're giving to your pup, just like it's important once you're putting it in your body. And if you see a bunch of random stuff that you can't pronounce or just like toxic stuff in there, you might want to choose a different brand. We have a... A little bowl. So this is one that you can clip onto your dog bag or your backpack. There's a clip on the back and you can take it portable with you and fill up. You can bring like a little Ziploc baggie of food or treats or you can fill up a water bottle and give him water whenever he's like playing at the park or something. Here you go, your favorite. Okay, this is something Lucas insisted on. I wasn't really a fan, but I was like, okay, I guess we'll try it. It's a toothbrush that you like put on your finger, which I just wanted a regular toothbrush. So we might get that too. It's just what I have to use for Bentley when I have to brush your teeth. <laughs> Along with that, we just got some Arm & Hammer puppy um, toothpaste. It's peanut butter flavor. No way. <laughs> yeah, so I don't, that's oh, gonna be interesting. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, I would have tried it out. Okay, now we have a treat um, bag, tote bag. Treat tote bag is what they called it. I just got it on Amazon. I found out the best one. It just has a little clip right here. You just put on the side of your pants. He also insisted on this. I was like, babe, we can just hold like, the bag and just... No. And he's like, no, I have to like reach down there into my pocket and give it to the dog. I'm dog daddy. I have to have the treat pouch. Yeah. So we have a nice little blue one. I'll just attach it to the side of my um, pants belt. and then the side of my belt <laughs> with my flip phone. <laughs> and then we'll just train him. Here's Brindley's um, toiletries. No. We got another little... Um, we got the poop holder carrier, oh, so I'm not sure where it is oh. now. But Sorry. yeah, we definitely need extra bags. So we got a just a plain black harness. I just looked up the best one on, on the internet and this one what they told me. Then we have a training leash. So this is different than just a regular like walking leash because it's super long, it's thin, it's flimsy, it's easy. It's really just for when, like when your puppy is like say in your living room and you just kind of want to let him do his own thing but you also want to have access to him to help train him or if you like go to a park and you don't want him to just so close yeah. to you all the time with the leash but you want him to be able to run around and still be able you to can, like, take care of him. It's a good training leash. Yeah, you, you can, can kind of monitor his area and like tie the trees yeah. and stuff. And then this one was also a Lucas buy. It's a leash that wraps around your waist and then it clips onto the dog. So it's a hands-free leash and then it has like a little puppy pouch for treats and stuff. So you can just attach it to you and you don't have to like be non-stop pulling and stuff. We'll see. I think it's cool. This is from PetSmart as well. So. so that's all the cute stuff. Now we'll get into like the practical stuff over here, like his kennel. We got... So what we got, first of all, you want to start from the top or the start bottom? Start from the kennel, I think. Okay, so the kennel. This was an Amazon purchase. Okay, Brendan's gonna demonstrate the two gate system we have here. So you can go from the back, right? See, it gives him flexibility. He can come in from there if he wants. Oh, yep. And then. Oh. Oh gosh, it's so small. I don't want to get in it. And then you go out the front. So it's a yeah. dual entry exit way. Yeah. But and also, they said that it helps. When I was looking at YouTube videos, it helps him get more comfortable since it's. Yeah, you can just kind of like leave both open. Yeah, you can, they can just come in and out either way, like whatever. Yeah. Next, 
just this little simple puppy thing. It was like $16 at TJ Maxx. He's gonna be teeny tiny so when we first get him, so like the big bed is going to be massive for him. So we just wanted a small one to put into his crate. Then we also got just like another comfy little puppy blanket. So for food bowls and treats, we got this cute little treat jar. It's just very simple, minimalistic from TJ Maxx. And that's what we'll put like the bigger bone treats and stuff in. And then we got these two bowls, which I love. They're like this ceramic cream color. I think they're so clean and they just match our apartment so well. So they got got dog paws on them. And a water bowl. Yeah, look at the dog paw. It's so cute. See? So I know that's my what he's gonna eat. This is for the car, the Tesla. We just got it and I'm scared. Our car is his baby, so he's yeah. really worried about the car. So he got a cover seat and a door cover. I have not used them and I've not put them up, so I don't know how they're gonna be, but I will let you guys know. Um, puppy pads, just a big box of, I think it's like 100 count puppy pads. 50. And then we got two different backpacks so far. This one is, um, Say like we're taking him to the park or we're taking him somewhere where we just want to carry all of his treats, his like bowl of water, his dog bags, whatever. It's just like a little plain black one for us. And then this one is one I'm bringing to the airport and for his travels because he goes inside of it. There's like a little hard um, plush thing at the bottom to like brace him, I guess. And okay. then this attaches onto his collar to make sure he can't jump out. And it has a little pouch and it's just an open thing. There's, so the, yeah. uh, there's the dog poop bag. See, I'll put it on like this, like so. And he'll just be sitting inside and he's gonna be so tiny that he'll actually fit in there. That's what's so crazy to me. Like, he will fit in there. His thing. little head's gonna be Oh my gosh, he's gonna be so cute. We also I found in this book bag was a portable like travel blanket. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Right? It just folds up and you can zip it up in a little baggie. Okay, I think this is the last thing and it's so extra, but um, you guys know we do like travel videos and stuff and we just got a new GoPro and I had to, I just had to get him this. It is a harness with the GoPro mount. So there's gonna be vlogs of like Ziggy's view of the world because it's gonna be right behind his head and you just see wherever he goes and what he does. Yeah. And we're so excited to use this. There's gonna be a lot more puppy content. This is so, gonna be insane. It's gonna be awesome, but very extra. Only if you're a, a vlogger, video or if, or if you have a GoPro. Yeah. It goes on the top of his back or his chest. There's obviously stuff that we still have to get, like some random, just more puppy pads and like puppy patch of grass and everything like that. Um, but that's coming soon. This is just the main bulk of stuff. Yeah. We and also don't want to get too much stuff because we're going to be gone for two weeks. So we yeah. don't really know what we need. Yeah, so he's not even going to see the stuff until we get back from our holiday trip. Yeah, so, so we'll be gone for two and a half really weeks. Fun. But yeah, we're super excited. Make sure if you guys like this video or you want to see just the progress of us getting Ziggy and the day we pick him up, um, how we're training him, introducing him to his new home, all of that Basically stuff. Basically just our life for the puppy. Yeah, make sure you subscribe because we'll be posting those a lot more. And yeah, we're just super excited to change the channel a little bit into more of like our family dynamic now since it's like a three-person wow. family and That's weird. we're super pumped really weird. and we're also making him an instagram and a tiktok so yeah, we'll follow that. <laughs> if you want to see more of like the daily content of him of ziggy and ziggy with us on there i'll put them on the screen and also in the description but again thank you guys so much for watching this much love guys bye